emotion, elation, competitive steel. The Solheim Cup brings out all of those and more in an event with qualities unique to anything else on the regular women's tour. It's the ultimate team competition for women and many of the world's best relish its challenge. For many young amateurs, it's a dream to one day make a team, but the cream of the USA and Europe can get an early taster at the Junior Solheim Cup. It's huge. I mean, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the, the Junior Ryder Cup for women, you know, for, for young girls. So um, it's, a, it's a huge event. It's uh, something that I know a lot of the American girls are shooting for or trying to qualify for. The Ping Junior Solheim Cup is an, is an amazing tournament to get some experiences you can't get, you hardly can get in any other tournament and um, I think it's the greatest experience you can have as a junior female golfer. Since it began in 2002, plenty of junior alumni have graduated to the full Solheim Cup teams. This is a tournament that attracts the very best in junior golf, an important stepping stone to the professional ranks. If you look at like the big names, they've all been good in junior golf already, like in the women as in the men's too, and so I think if you're good as an amateur, your career would be like, has a good start because they know you and then you get sponsors easier and probably life would be easier if you start with some money on tour. Yeah, I think it's great to have it, that competition, because it's like one of the highest thing you can achieve as a junior. And uh, I think it's every junior's dream to play in that competition. When I will be like, 50 years old, I will say to my daughter, oh, you know, I did the uh, Sol and Cup Junior, it was amazing and everything. Yeah, that's so cool. This year's European team captain is Denmark's Eben Tinning, who got a chance to oversee the progress of some of her players at the recent Annika Invitational Europe. The six-time LET winner played in four Solheim Cups herself. That's the sort of experience you just can't buy. I think it's a, it's, it's a big deal, deal these days to, to be a captain for, for the girls' team. You know, it's, it's growing a lot and I obviously think it's very important that, that you've actually been in it yourself. And, and, uh, and I also think that the girls listen more when you actually have been playing it yourself and, and done okay. Uh, I think they, they like, uh, get any more, uh, even more out of it. Alongside Tinning, the event's first ever male vice captain, Sebastian Rule, a local to host course Zan Leon wrote, which also welcomes the Solheim Cup proper next month. I'm getting goosebumps by just thinking about being on the same venue, to have all the tents already set up, to have the roping already, to have the branding, and you can really, I mean, it's a totally different atmosphere than being in a, another golf club which is nearby and um, I think it's going to be a great, great tournament for everyone to enjoy. The Americans have come out on top in three successive outings. The importance of the event stateside is growing. It's a very elite event, right? So but it's still being talked about and it's still played up and I think it's a huge deal in America. I think the qualifying system may be a little bit different, um, but it's, uh, it's a very big deal. Anytime you get to represent your country, and I think that's a very special thing for the girls in the States, they don't have the same system as we do here in Europe where you, you represent your country in the European Championships and so forth. And so the Junior Solheim Cup actually gives them an opportunity to represent the United States and to wear the colors and you know they get to be around the, the, the women that they look up to on the tour and, and that's it's a huge experience. Um, so it's very, very big and something that they'll bring with them for the rest of their lives.